November 2nd, 1708 was the last day that Ukrainian Cossack general commanders Ivan Mozepa's hometown of Baturin existed. The town of Baturin was razed to the ground. All locals were killed, including women and children. So who reduced to rubble, a capital of the Cossack state? It was a punitive expedition organized on the order of Russian Tsar Peter I. Even the newspapers of the time wrote about the massacre. British newspapers were published with headlines reading Ukraine is drawing in blood. This referred to the Baturin tragedy of 1708. The reason for the atrocities? It was Ivan Mazepa's so-called betrayal when he allied himself with Swedish King Karl XII. Before Mazepa was an ally of the Russian emperor, yet Peter I was the first one to go back on his word. Peter I refused to protect Ukrainian lands, and in Zhokva, near Lviv, he told Mazepa that he wouldn't lend 10,000 men to protect Ukrainian lands. After finding out about the alliance between Mazepa and Karl XII, Peter I decided to exact revenge. He sent 20,000 men to burn down the Ukrainian Zaporizhian Kazakh capital with specific orders not to spare anyone, not even women or children. Mazepa was not in the town at that moment. The town residents hid in the fortress, and for a day, Kazakhs managed to hold back the Russian troops, even while being outnumbered three to one. Eventually, Russian forces managed to take the fortress. Traitors saved themselves by assisting in the Russian victory. The colonel of the Priluka regiment, Ivan Nos, and a translator, Stepan Zertis, persuaded their Cossack's friend Solomacha. He escaped the city through an underground passage. He then went to Alexander Menshikov and told him about the underground passages. That is how the fortress was taken by the enemy. Through these secret passages, the army of Peter I, which was around 20,000 men, stormed into the citadel. The residents and defenders were caught off guard. Whether anyone managed to survive is unknown. The archaeological excavations in Baturin are still underway. These are the remains of 500 people who will be reburied. The fortress was rebuilt in early 2000s, and in 2004, a cross was placed to commemorate the victims of the Baturin tragedy.